Army Special Forces soldiers are known as Green Berets because of their distinctive headgear, the Green Beret. Its roots trace back to World War II, but the U.S. Army 10th Special Forces Group was activated in June of 1952. Colonel Aaron Banks led the 1st Army Special Forces Unit, which was located on Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The adoption of the Green Beret as a uniform item for Special Forces was not without controversy. Members of the Special Forces wanted distinctive headgear that would set them apart and chose the Green Beret in 1954. Fort Bragg's commander banned the wearing of berets as they were not officially part of the uniform. Members of the Special Forces continued to wear them despite the commander's decision. In 1961, the beret was made an official part of the uniform and designated to be worn only by Special Forces soldiers. Special Forces laid the foundation for what it is today in Vietnam, advising and training the South Vietnamese. Today that concept is known as Foreign Internal Defense, one of the Green Berets' primary missions, along with unconventional warfare, counterinsurgency, special reconnaissance, and security force assistance. The path to becoming a Green Beret is highly selective and mentally and physically rigorous. First is the six-week Special Forces Preparation Course, where candidates hone physical fitness and land navigation skills. Those who succeed move on to the 19-day Special Forces Assessment and Selection to determine if they are fit to continue. Those who are will brave the 53-week Special Forces Qualification Course covering advanced special operations techniques, small unit tactics, language training, survival, evasion, resistance, and escape exercises, and more. The final test for soldiers aspiring to wear the coveted Green Beret is a four-week exercise called Robin Sage. During this culminating event, students use their training to conduct a foreign internal defense mission recruiting, training, and assisting guerrilla soldiers in overthrowing an oppressive regime in a hostile environment. Army Special Forces are quiet professionals, living up to their motto, Die Oppressor Liber, to free the oppressed.